I'm going to call this an abomination. I don't know another word to use, abomination. I'm, I'm upset about this one. It's, it's bothered me all day. Um, I've talked to a lot of folks about it. I'm going to tell you who this woman is, what she does. And if you'll stay with me, I'm going to share with you why I see this really as a microcosm of the enemies within this country, what we are up against. So stay with me. This is a doozy. Abomination. Buckle up. Here we go. Today's doozy is brought to you by TacPack. Over at TacPack.com, you can get all sorts of awesomeness delivered to your door. I've gotten a billion boxes in the door, and I love mine. Three different levels, light, regular, or plus. And my understanding, I haven't seen it yet, but the September box is going to be a Lulu on the plus size. That's the top level. It got a 30% off coupon code for you for your first order. They bring everyday carry and survival, all sorts of rudely tootly parts to your door. And the great thing is you can just say no more at any point. No strings attached, just cancel anytime. 30% off, there's a coupon code. Get yourself subscribed while it's still August, September plus. Whoop. Also, you people, thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all are a big whoop. Got a little uh, fall allergy going on. Y'all have that stuff going on? Just a bit. All right, let me introduce you to Reverend. 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 Rebecca Todd Peters. Rebecca Todd Peters, and she wears a neon pink stole bearing the Planned Parenthood logo. And she is in high, high demand right now. Literally can't keep up with her own schedule. She is going out there. People are having her come in and talk. Let me give you just a sample of it. Reverend. 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 Take it away. As a woman who has born two children, I can affirm that I felt something sacred happening in my gestating body during those pregnancies. I can also attest that I felt God's presence with me as I made the decision to end two pregnancies. And I felt no guilt, no shame, no sin. I want to challenge you as you parse this data, this information. This, yes, of course it's a religious issue, of course it's an abortion issue. But there's another one that I want to talk about, because I don't really talk abortion on this channel, I talk very little, rarely about, about religion. But there's also a cultural idea here, the idea that a, uh, this woman, and remember, she's not from some fringe organization, she's from the PCUSA, USA, PCUSA Presbyterian Church, hyphen USA, that is a big, big, legit denomination. Yes, we're not going to argue. We're not here to argue religion, but I'm just saying they're an established one of the big ones, and they are using her. She's also a professor at Elon University, and they're using her to come into organizations and churches to speak, and they are borrowing the authority from an established denomination and having her stand there as a spokesperson of that organization to say, hey, abor abortion's awesome. You're going to feel God. Her words were, were she felt God's presence, felt no guilt, no shame, and no sin. Again, I really challenge you to, to, to look beyond just the abortion issue with that. Uh, I see a problem here. Her wearing those vestments or that stole with a Planned Parenthood logo? What? Why? Why? For the murdering of children, the planned extinction of a generation, the tearing down of, this, of the American family, and the prol proliferation of Marxism into the American culture. Remember, Planned Parenthood, you can Google or Bean or DuckDuckGo this. Planned Parenthood was founded, the very foundation that was laid, the idea that Planned Parenthood came into existence in order to eliminate black people. That is verifiable, and you can chase that all you want. Then she brings the Lord in saying, hey, it's not, not a sin, and you're going to feel God's presence. High demand, professor. I wrote down the word borrowed authority. Found this article from this summer in the Washington Post. This Presbyterian minister wants churches to talk more about abortion, working to shift the cultural paradigm that abortion is sin. She's a part of a project called Abortion and Religion and is one of the country's leading ethnic, eth ethicists, ethics, <laughs> ethicists, on abortion rights, the Reverend, Reverend, 
Reverend. Reverend. The Reverend. What I want to condemn the Washington Post on is they open in her first, the first sentence is that she's wearing the logo. They never mention that again. I find that, uh, I find that poor journalism to never mention that again. The agenda that this woman is having. That's a problem. That's a problem with the Washington Post. Yeah, I know. Big shocker. All right. I said all that. I've been disturbed on this one all day long. Because, yeah, I mean, we all get it. We all get it. We shouldn't be surprised. Back during the... <clears throat> they literally took to Twitter saying that these folks need to be rounded up. And it was so calloused. And it was so, like, instant looking at us as objects something to be cast away. And I think for, re for me, religion aside, abortion aside, I think it just is a reminder for me today of what we're up against. They don't see you, anything that, they, that, that, that disagrees with them, including that, that child, is something to be cast aside. These people believe firmer what they believe than I think sometimes we do. And I think that is a problem. What say you? Let me know right down below. Rabbit. Rabbit.